Okay. In today's video, I'm going to be solving this problem called path with maximum cold. So in this problem, you will be given a grid of size M by N. Every time you are located in a cell, you will collect the gold in that cell. From your position, you can walk one step to the left, right, up or down. Uh, you cannot visit the same cell more than once. Never visit cell with zero gold. You can start and stop collecting gold from any position in the grid. So let's walk through the example. Uh, so in this case, this is a grid given. So in this grid given, you can start from any position and let's start from a six. Uh, from six, we can go to the left, right, uh, either left or right or in the top or bottom. So if we go to the bottom, uh, it's going to be six plus eight plus seven. So six plus eight plus seven is no, not an optimal solution. So if we start from nine, then we can we could go to the eight and then seven. So this would give us the maximum sum output of 24. So let's walk through with another example. From here, we are go from one, we are going to two and then three and, in, and then in the right four, uh, five and then up six and then seven. So this will, this would give us 28. So how do I solve this problem? So the simplest approach to solve this problem is to use duck first search for each and every cell. And once we do duck first search, we can keep counting what how much gold we are collecting right now and mark that cell as visited. Once that's been done, we could store a max. We could we could take a global maximum counter. So where we will update uh, what is the maximum possible value that we can get out of that. Uh, so in this way, we will be solving this problem. So uh, for depth first search, we will have to keep track of all of all the visited nodes. So an in interview, the interview might ask you uh, to do this in a constant space that is order of one space. So for that, we can simply uh, use this existing grid uh, to mark that as visited, uh, to mark uh, that as zero once we are exploring that. And once the exploration is done, we can revert the value. So this is a kind of backtracking. So let's try to see. Uh, uh, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be writing two values uh, M and N. So M would store uh, uh, the, the number of rows and uh, N will store number of columns in the grid and and max gold. So initial initially it will be integer dot min value and I'm going to be storing uh, an offset array. So this will be offsets. So why I'm storing this offsets array? Because uh, when I'm going to be doing the depth first search, I don't have to write uh, those manually. I can look through, I can iterate uh, over this uh, 2D array and add those offsets. So what are the offsets? So there will be four possibilities. Uh, we can either go to uh, the right of the current node. So that will be, we will have to add zero or to the uh, ith index uh, that is the row index of the row and one to the column index or the reverse so uh, so sorry uh, this is for going uh, this is for going uh, yeah to the right and for going to the left we will have to subtract one from here uh, one from the index of the column and similarly if you want to go uh, to the upwards then subtracting one from the row index and nothing from uh, the column index and if we want to go down, then we will have to add one to the index of the row and zero to the index of the uh, column. All right, so we are set. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be iterating uh, to, uh, through this grid. Uh, let's first store m will be grid dot length and n will be grid zero dot length. So m will store the number of rows in the grid and n will store the number of columns in the grid now i'm going to be iterating over this uh, grid all right uh, so right now what i need to check if uh, the value of the cell current cell is not zero then we'll uh, then only we should uh, perform the diff first search so we will check if grid grid i j is not equals to zero then we will uh, perform the depth first search so yeah so we will call the depth first search function so we'll pass grid i and j and one thing need we need to pass here is 
how much gold currently we are we are calculated to we are collect uh, how much gold is been collected in this dfs run so initially it's zero and once it's done we can simply return so this dfs call will update this uh, max gold collection value so once this has been done we will have uh, the maximum amount of gold that we can collect so we we should simply return max gold all right now it's time to write the actual dfs function so let's write the dfs it will be grid i j and this is a let's call it as goal collected all right so now what i need to check is uh, what is the base uh, base condition of this dfs so let's uh, let's say that we are here so there are uh, there are uh, four possibilities we can go to the up we can go to the left we can go to the right uh, so yeah there is no right uh, so this is one of the edge case that uh, we can call uh, we can add the offset and call the depth for search method but there can be a possibility that uh, the current grid is uh, having a zero or uh, the row num row index and the column index is out of bound so for that case we won't have to do anything we can simply return so this is the case uh, the index can the if i is less than 0 or j is less than 0 or uh, i can be out of bound so that i is greater than equals to m m is basically number of rows so maximum possible index in this grid is m minus 1 or j is out of bound so that is uh, j is greater than equals to n or so if none of the conditions are uh, none of the conditions are true then this last one will be evaluated so we need to check if grid i and j is equals to zero so it means that uh, we have nothing to collect here so we can simply return all right so now let's store uh, the current coin here so let me just call it a uh, grid ij why i'm showing this current coin because is because i'm not using any visited array so what i what i will do is that i will make the grid uh, ij as zero since we are at the current cell so let's mark it as visited so if we mark it as visit zero then then in any of the dfs call if that cell occurs again then that will satisfy this condition and we will return from our depth of search so again making it zero now uh, I will have to update the max gold collection. So it will be simply math.max max gold and uh, whatever we have currently collected plus the value of the current coin. So that is uh, gold collected plus current coin. All right, now it's time to do the depth for search. So for that, I'm gonna be simply iterating through this offset array. Let's call it X. So what I need to do is I need to simply call the DFS with uh, gold I plus uh, X zero, then J plus X, uh, yeah, X one. And how much gold we are collect uh, collecting right now is whatever is the collected gold, gold collected plus current coin. So once this has been done, so if we mark this uh, that as keep uh, if we keep the value as zero then it will be a problem because in the next dfs call after this after one of the iteration of this loop so that will not consider that cell again so for that we will have to do this restore the value of uh, grid ij to whatever was the previous so, all right now we are done Let's run this code. Expected. Okay. Cannot find symbol gold. Ah, uh, oh, sorry, my bad. It would be it. It is great. Let's submit this code. Uh, 
okay it's accepted so that was it so let's try to analyze the time complexity so this two auto loop will be executed uh, this loop will be executed m times and this loop will be executed n times so m cross n is the time complexity of this two auto loops and this depth for search will uh, try to visit each and every cell at the worst case so so this will again take uh, order of m cross n because we are not using any adjacency list representation we are simply iterating we are simply traversing the this matrix uh, so so overall time complexity is order of uh, m square n square and overall space complexity is order of one because we are not using any visited array okay so that was it about this uh, if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe